the Cold War's colossal marvel of naval engineering. The Typhoon-class submarine stands as a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of an era defined by intense geopolitical rivalry. This submarine wasn't just a weapon, it was a symbol of power, technological prowess, and strategic dominance. Created during the intense rivalry of the Cold War, the Typhoon-class submarine is a technological marvel. The construction of this behemoth was a feat of engineering that required the collaboration of thousands of skilled workers, engineers, and scientists. The shipyards buzzed with activity as each component was meticulously crafted and assembled, ensuring that the submarine would meet the rigorous demands of underwater warfare. Imagine a vessel as long as two football fields, stretching over 170 meters in length. This immense size allowed the Typhoon to carry a vast array of weaponry and equipment, making it one of the most formidable submarines ever built. As it sailed through the oceans, its sheer size and presence were enough to intimidate any potential adversary. Designed to glide silently beneath the waves, armed with enough firepower to level entire cities, the Typhoon was equipped with 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads. This arsenal gave it the ability to strike targets thousands of miles away, ensuring that it could deliver a devastating blow to any enemy. This behemoth wasn't just about size, its stealth capabilities were revolutionary. The Typhoon was designed to operate undetected, using advanced technology to avoid detection by enemy sonar and radar systems. Its hull was coated with sonar-absorbing tiles, and its propellers were engineered to minimize noise, allowing it to move silently through the depths of the ocean. Thanks to advanced sonar-absorbing tiles and quiet propellers, the Typhoon could lurk undetected, striking fear into the hearts of adversaries. This stealth capability was crucial during the Cold War, as it allowed the submarine to remain hidden while it patrolled the world's oceans, ready to launch a surprise attack if necessary. Constructed in the 1980s by the Soviet Union, the Typhoon class was a product of its time, reflecting the technological advancements and strategic priorities of the era. The Soviet Union invested heavily in its naval capabilities, seeking to match and surpass the United States in the ongoing arms race. The Typhoon was a key component of this strategy, providing the Soviet Navy with a powerful and versatile platform for projecting power across the globe. It was a symbol of naval supremacy, boasting groundbreaking technology like double-hulled construction for extra resilience. This design feature made the Typhoon more durable and capable of withstanding damage, ensuring that it could continue to operate even in the harshest conditions. The double hull also provided additional buoyancy, making the submarine more stable and easier to control. And let's not forget its role in the dreaded mutually assured destruction doctrine. The Typhoon was a key element of this strategy, which relied on the threat of overwhelming retaliation to deter any potential aggressor. By maintaining a fleet of these powerful submarines, the Soviet Union ensured that it could respond to any attack with devastating force, making the prospect of nuclear war unthinkable. This submarine could launch ballistic missiles from underwater, ensuring a second strike capability. This meant that even if the Soviet Union's land-based missile silos were destroyed in a first strike, the Typhoon could still retaliate, launching its missiles from the depths of the ocean. This second strike capability was a crucial component of the Soviet Union's nuclear deterrent, providing an additional layer of security and stability. The Typhoon class didn't just redefine naval warfare, it left an indelible mark on military history. Its innovative design and advanced technology set new standards for submarine construction, influencing the development of future generations of submarines. The lessons learned from the Typhoon's design and operation continue to shape naval strategy and technology to this day. It remains the world's largest nuclear submarine, a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. The Typhoon's size and capabilities are a reminder of what can be achieved when nations invest in research and development, pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Its legacy lives on in the submarines that patrol the world's oceans today, carrying on the tradition of excellence and innovation. Whether you're a military history buff or just curious about the seas, the story of the Typhoon class is one of awe-inspiring power and innovation. Its impact on naval warfare and military strategy is undeniable, and its legacy continues to inspire and captivate those who study it. 
The Typhoon class is a story of awe-inspiring power and innovation. From its massive size and formidable firepower to its advanced stealth capabilities and resilient design, the Typhoon represents the pinnacle of submarine engineering. Its story is a testament to the creativity, determination and skill of the people who built and operated it, and it serves as a reminder of the incredible achievements that can be made in the pursuit of technological excellence. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Typhoon class submarine, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content on military history and technology. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.